Collaboration is something that has always been a part of Sark's DNA from the beginning, whether it be with an iconic institution like Barrow or with one of our families. It all makes us better. One family's determination to improve detection and diagnosis of Asperger's has guided our work for the last several years. And today, we are proud to unveil a new Sark app. And it's a wonderful reminder for us all to think Asperger's. He was the kid who was alone on the playground. He also had this inability to make friends. Understand, David wanted friends. He wanted to be part and parcel of whatever that meant, but he didn't understand how did you make a friend. When Dave was approximately nine or 10, he brought up the issue of loneliness. Finally, after receiving the correct diagnosis of Asperger's and thinking that now we had a path to follow, very unfortunately, uh, David took his life. And I cannot stress strongly enough that our son struggled needlessly because we did not have a correct diagnosis. Asperger's is a, is a really tough disorder to identify early, uh, particularly in pediatrician offices, because first and foremost, kids are talking. Kids with Asperger's don't have language delays. Um, also, cognitively, they're, they're intact. There's no, there's no challenges there, so it's much more difficult to pick up on. All too often, we see people with Asperger's coming in for a diagnostic evaluation in their 20s, and they report their medical history where they've been diagnosed with ADHD or bipolar or depression or even schizophrenia, and they've been treated or prescribed medication for each one of those conditions. But those are all misdiagnoses, and the treatment that they've received is never solving their problem. So the importance of diagnoses is to address the issue that led up to that functional impairment. And that will happen if somebody is appropriately diagnosed with, with Asperger's. At SARC, we developed the Social Challenges Screening Questionnaire to help identify students that might be behaving differently than their peers as a result of autism spectrum disorder. This didn't exist. There was no way to sort of screen for this high-functioning autism or Asperger syndrome in the past. And now we had a tool that was not only just created based on our expertise, but validated, published, used in schools, uh, and, and had the data to support that this would be an effective way to be able to pick up on children with social differences. There are three major components of the app. One is the screening tool itself. Second are resources for families. And third are educational videos. If a teacher or a parent notices that a child or a student is not functioning as well as their peers or is not as involved socially and has some difficulty because they're not involved socially, then that parent should also seek an evaluation for autism. Best of all, the app is free, making it accessible to anybody who needs this support. And the most important thing is that we identify the kids that need the help as early as possible.